Hi, I'm Casey with eMart. Welcome to our instructional series. Today I'll be showing you the Portrait Studio Umbrella Kit for photo and video with 600 watt of continuous daylight balance lighting. This kit includes two soft boxes, two backdrop support stands, three muslin backdrops, white, black, and green, four light stands, two lamp holders, two white translucent umbrellas, four light bulbs, six spring clamps, one reflector, one carrying bag, and four backdrop clips. For this umbrella kit, I'm going to show you simple instructions to step-by-step -step assemble your pieces. Let's start with the lighting stands. The lighting stands are different from background stands because they are more lightweight and a little bit thinner. Also, the backdrop stands will have wing nuts at the top. The lighting stands do not. That's how you know this is a lighting stand. So what we'll do is we'll turn our lever to the left to loosen the screw. That will allow us to adjust the stand. By applying a little bit of pressure from the bottom, we're able to level out the support system. And screwing it back to the right, will tighten and sturdy the unit. So I will unclamp it and lift the segment. And then to steady it, I will close the clamp. I can do this again to raise it up. However, for this purpose, it's at a decent height. So now let's put on our umbrella. We're gonna start with the holder. And you'll notice there's several knobs there's three on here, and we're just gonna turn each of them to the left to loosen them up a little bit. This one adjusts the angle. This one is where the umbrella stick will come from, and this is how we will secure it to the stand, the bottom one. Now that all of the levers are loose, I'm gonna attach it to the stand. First, I'll remove the safety cap that's on by unscrewing it to the left. You'll notice a little screw top is available. I'm gonna line the holder to where it fits into place and then secure it by tightening it to the right. Nice and snug. Now you'll notice that you can get any angle that you need. But we're gonna, for today, go for about a 45 degree angle and tighten it to the right. Each umbrella will take one bulb. We'll insert it by screwing it into the right and then adding our umbrella. Just like umbrellas at home, you just simply need to ex expel it and it will pop into place. You'll find an insertion hole right here and you'll gently secure it halfway through the stick. You'll note here that there's another lever that I'm turning to the right to secure it into place. It's important to note that you want your light bulb to be fully into your umbrella so that there's no light that comes and seeps outward. Another trick for this is to have it flush with the umbrella. That way no light spills out. And our umbrella stand is ready to go. Let's move on to our soft box. We're setting up the same stand in a similar fashion, turning it to the left, pushing it up, securing it with the right, nice and tight, opening the clasp, extending it and closing the clasp. Grabbing our soft box, you'll notice the control, unlike the holder, has the power button on the back. This control is part of the cord. Just something to take note of for later. The facet secures right here, so we'll also move it to the left so that it's ready for us. And now it's ready for the stand. But first, let's open it. You'll notice once inside, you can see this black ring unit. We're going, we're going to push the unit into the bulb holder, and that will secure it by snapping in place, like this. 
you can see that it is snugly fit around the bulb holder, and that lets you know that it is firmly in place. Now to secure it to the stand unit. I'm gonna remove the top, and then we'll just secure this easily to the top of the stand. Turning right, we'll tighten it onto the unit, and then just like the other umbrella, this soft box angle can be controlled for whatever your desired angle is. And as you can see here, I'm just gonna tighten it by turning this knob to the right. Oh, that angle's a little bit too much. Let me show you how easy it is to take it from a 45 degree angle to a 15 degree. I'm just going to turn this to the left, take it down a little bit, and then tighten it by turning it to the right. You'll notice on the cover that there are Velcro attachments sewn in to the fabric. This will meet with the Velcro that is located on the outside of your soft box. But first, let's not forget to include the light bulb. We're attaching it by screwing it into the right until it's nice and snug. I'm lining up the Velcro on each side, securing the corners just like I would a bed sheet. And now we have our soft box. Next left in our kit, we have three muslin backdrops. So let's go ahead and get the backdrop stands up. I'm gonna ask Ryan to come in and help me set up the backdrop. Hey, Ryan. Hey. <laughs> this is the heavier unit that I mentioned earlier. You'll notice it weighs a little bit more and it also has the wing nut up top. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it to the left to take it off. And then we'll just hold on to it. This helps you from saving it when it's really high up to having to loosen it. So we'll just keep hold. Next, I'm gonna turn our lever to the left to loosen it. Pop open the legs and apply a little bit of pressure until it is level. Then I'll secure it by turning it to the right. These stands can go from three to five to eight and a half feet tall. For today, we're just gonna take it to our five feet option and applying the first level. I'm securing it by turning it to the right. For today, I really would love for you to be able to see all three examples of our black, green, and white muslin backdrops. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and attach all three. What? You'll notice that there's a little silver button on one end of the bar. And on the other, there'll be holes. Two holes on one end, that's your outside, and one hole on the other, that's your inside. You'll take the one hole where it meets the silver button by applying a little bit of pressure and locking it into place. Just that easy. Then we'll line up the outside bars Oh, and there's just a little bit of overlap, so let me just take this out a little bit further. And now I'm going to secure them together with the silver button and the hole on this side and pushing them into place by just applying a little bit of pressure. Now we'll take those wing nuts and secure our crossbar to the stands. by turning them in a clockwise fashion to the right. Ryan, I got so excited about the backdrop, I completely forgot to show you the awesome reflector. It comes in this easily accessible case and this simple handle. By pulling on the zipper, you can open the reflector. You ready? <laughs> She's a thing of beauty. Silver on one side, black on the other, and when you locate her inner zipper, you can pull down to see that she has a white interior and a gold option as well. Thank you, Ryan. Next up, we'll put our three backdrops. We'll start with our black. All of them are of one solid piece of material. You'll note that there is a hem 
on all four sides of the muslin. One of them, however, will have a, a pocket and a hole for fabric so that it can easily slide onto your crossbars. Ryan found it first. Okay, so we'll attach this to the top. Oh, let me grab a clip. These are our clamps. I can also use this to measure how far I'm gonna turn the backdrop. And I'm just doing about two inches. Oh, here I can tighten it. Didn't go quite far enough, simply Use the release spring, pull it tight to the size that you'd like, and clamp it back into place. The hem line right here, and then secure it. Next is the white. Oh, here's our line. I found it this time. <laughs> And I'm just following this hemline, fastening it tightly. Okay, so we can see that we overlapped here a little bit. I'm just gonna double secure by releasing the spring, following my hemline, and securing it into place. Double checking here to make sure hemline is above, and now we're locked in. Next is our green muslin. Look at this beautiful rich green. Almost reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> and here is our sleeve pocket for if we wanted to include it on the bar, we easily could. Just slide it like a normal curtain rod. I'm following the hemline again, just for consistency. And now we're ready to release up. So you can see all three color options for our backdrops. Okay, so first we're gonna loosen by moving to the left our top lever. We're gonna release the top portion, and then you can see what it looks like at about seven feet. We're securing this in place by fastening it to the right. And here you can see our beautiful muslin backdrops. So here we have our soft box. There's one ass assembled and one unassembled, as well as our umbrella light. Let's not forget our clips for our backdrop. I just open the Velcro strap. On the stand, I secure it. Until I get to the leather end. And then I just fasten it as tightly as possible. You'll notice that the clamp is at one end and then there's an adjustable piece for a longer length or a shorter length option. For today, we're so close to the curtain, I think a shorter length will be just fine. These clamps are ideal for in case if you're doing an outside shoot and it happens to be a little windy. Now, we secured it for this one segment. Let's do it again at the bottom. I'm opening the leather, showing the strap, going to the next segment, and securing it to the pole on the light stand. As tightly as possible, until the leather is ready to be secured. The clip I fasten for whichever length I desire. For this one, I'm gonna go with the short option and I'll just clip it to the end. As I mentioned before, this is perfect if you're outside or you have a, wind, a windy shoot, they're not gonna fly away. And that's our umbrella kit. Thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you at the next episode.